as thousands of drivers hit the road for the holidays today, many could be paying more at the pump. The ABC 11 I team finding hundreds of gas pumps in our area that weren't giving consumers the amount of gas they paid for. The I team Samantha Coomerer tonight breaking down what you should watch out for to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. And most people put the pump in the car and don't question if the amount they're paying for is the amount they're actually getting. But they should, because here in Wake County, inspectors found 9% of the gas pumps that they inspected were labeled as rejected. Wow, I, I'm, not, I'm telling you, I hate getting gas. It makes me sweat. With inflation driving up the cost of everything else, consumers are looking for savings where they can get them, especially at the pump. Filling up your tank twice a week puts a dent in the budget. So we have to cut where we're eating out, you know, what food we're buying. It's something state inspectors work to help with. But the short story is, uh, are you as the customer getting what you pay for? So we're out there every day looking at these things for people. Over the past year, state inspectors found 260 pumps not giving the right amount of gas that customers paid for in Wake, Durham, and Cumberland County. Where you would shut it off and then maybe a, another number two or three keep ticking up like you're still squeezing it. When you turn it on, it might jump 10 cents before you ever even put it in the car. And again, there was no delivery. 7% of pumps inspected were labeled as rejected, meaning they either weren't giving the right amount of gas or had other mechanical issues. In Wake County, that percent is slightly higher at 9%. Benjamin says this is partially because the county was without an inspector for a while. Another 179 pumps were tagged or placed out of service to protect the consumer. These inspections are important to Rodney Bruce, who's experienced issues before. It's pumping and nothing was coming out, but it was still moving. So you think it's important that they check? Absolutely. You better check. Critical at this point, you know, especially as we're into the holidays and the new year. While the issues make up a relatively small percentage of all the pumps inspected, Benjamin says consumers need to be protected. Most pumps will have a sticker on them that shows the last date that they were inspected. It'll also have the number to the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, which you can call if you have any complaints about the pump. For the IT, Samantha Kumar, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.